Hey amigos, welcome to High Speaks. From the previous video, we know that Sar Revolution is led by Noor Mohammad Taraki, one of the founders of a communist party called PDPA. This revolution resulted in formation of a new Soviet-aligned government with Noor Mohammad Taraki as president and renamed the country as Democratic Republic of Afghanistan. Under the rule of new president Noor Mohammad Taraki, Sharia law was abolished and men were encouraged to cut off their beards. He encouraged the education for both boys and girls. Forced marriages were banned. Land reforms took place and minimum age of marriage was increased. He also introduced women to political life. Taraki started the first TV channel in the country that is Afghanistan National Television. These new reforms were not well received by majority of traditional rural population and all the government new policies clashed directly with their tradition of Islam which led to rise of anti-government armed groups called Mujahideen. These Mujahideen are the various armed Islamist rebel groups who fights together against the newly formed government. These Mujahideen groups include different ethnic groups such as Pashtuns, Uzbeks, Tajiks and others. The various socio-economic changes by President Taraki led people to protest against the government as they believed that those changes were against the Islam. On 8th October 1979, Taraki was murdered by the orders of his fellow communist leader Hafizullah Amin. Taraki was suffocated with pillows and his body was secretly buried. After two days of his death, Afghan media reported that Taraki had died of a serious illness. Now, Hafizullah Amin took the leadership and became the new president of Afghanistan. But his government failed to solve the problem of the people protesting against the government. As it was the period of Cold War between USA and Soviet Union, Soviet Union feared that Hafizullah Amin was planning to switch towards the side of USA. The Soviet Union was dissatisfied with Hafizullah Amin's rule and entered Afghanistan in December 1979. On 27th December 1979, the Soviet Union killed Hafizullah Amin and replaced Babra Karmal, co-founder of PDPA, as the new president. Soviet-Afghan war was the war between the Mujahideen and the ruling communist government supported by the Soviet army. The war continued for nine years. As it was the time of Cold War, how USA will be quiet? Now, USA started supporting the Mujahideen financially as well as with weapons. The Mujahideen were also supported by Pakistan, Iran, Saudi Arabia, China and United Kingdom. Operation Cyclone was the codename for the United States CIA program to supply arms and finance the Afghan Mujahideen from 1979 to 1989. The Soviets used their air power to deal harshly with the rebel groups and also destroyed the areas that are in control of Mujahideen by laying millions of landmines. Many countries banned trading and imposed commercial and financial penalties against the Soviet Union. The United States led a boycott of the 1980 Summer Olympics held in Moscow. Now the Soviet Union led a revenge boycott of 1984 Olympics held in USA. The Soviet Union initially planned to stabilize the government under new leader Babra Karmal and live within a year. But they received strong resistance from the Mujahideen groups that resulted in the long war which was lasted for nine years. In May 1986, Mohammad Nazibullah, former chief of the Afghan secret police, was elected as the new president of Afghanistan by the Soviet Union, claiming that Babra Karmal's rule as a failure and blamed him for the problems. This young new leader was little known by the Afghanistan population at the time, but he made quick reforms to change the country's situation and win support. He encouraged parties other than PDPA to be active and he expressed his willingness to negotiate with the Mujahideen. By the mid-1980s, the Soviet army was increased to more than 1 lakh and fighting increased, but the cost of the war to the Soviet was high. In the year 1987, the Soviet Union announced that they would start withdrawing their forces after meetings with the Afghanistan government. The Soviets had negotiated with local Mujahideen commanders to stop aggressive actions and a temporary pause of the war during the withdrawal of their forces from Afghanistan. 
the defense minister of Soviet Union ordered army to violate the agreement with Ahmad Shah Massoud, who had a large force in the Panjshir Valley. Soviets thought that he would attack Nazibullah after their withdrawal. Leaving the government forces alone in the battle against the Mujahideen, the Soviet Union withdrew their troops completely by 15 February 1989. Now the civil war between the government and the Mujahideen was continued without the involvement of Soviet troops directly. But the Soviet Union given their financial support to the Afghanistan government during the war and also Mujahideen were supported by United States and Pakistan. But this ruling communist government lost their control over the country when the capital city Kabul was captured by the Mujahideen in April 1992. The Mujahideen established their new government and renamed the country as Islamic State of Afghanistan. Due to misunderstandings and fight for power between the different groups of Mujahideen led to the start of civil war between them. Many atrocities were committed by different groups of Mujahideen and corruption was increased. The instability of the present government led to the rise of Taliban in August 1994. The Taliban promised the people that they will liberate Afghanistan from its present corrupt leaders and establish a pure Islamic society. The Taliban are the students who are educated in traditional Islamic schools in Pakistan and majority of them belongs to Pashtun ethnic group from the areas of eastern and southern Afghanistan. Muhammad Umar in September 1994 in his hometown of Kandahar started the group Taliban with 50 students. Within months, 15,000 students from the religious Islamic schools joined the group as they were inspired by the Taliban. Some sources state that one incident, that is, the rape and murder of boys and girls from a family traveling to Kandahar by Mujahideen group, inspired Muhammad Omar and his students to save Afghanistan from these criminals. Pakistani's ISI agency strongly supported the Taliban in 1994, hoped for a new ruling power in Afghanistan favorable to Pakistan. At these stages, the Taliban were popular because they removed corruption and made roads and areas safe to live. On 3rd November 1994, in a surprise attack, the Taliban captured Kandahar city. In order to establish their rule over all Afghanistan, the Taliban attacked Kabul, but they were defeated by the government forces of the Islamic State of Afghanistan under the command of Ahmad Shah Massoud. After this defeat in Kabul, the Taliban started killing the ordinary citizens of Kabul. By this, the Taliban lost much respect from Afghanistan people. On 27 September 1996, the Taliban captured Kabul and established the new government, the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan. During their rule, the Taliban banned music, television, paintings and photography. They also banned participation in sports, including football and chess. Even kite flying was also banned. Celebration of the Western New Year was also banned. Women were not allowed to work and girls were not allowed to attend schools or universities. Men were not allowed to shave their beards. Women were ordered to wear the burqa. They started killing people of different cultural groups other than Pashtuns. The Taliban follows Sharia law, which helps Muslims understand how they should lead every aspect of their lives, and it also deals with crime. In November 1999, a mother of five children, who found guilty of killing her husband, was killed publicly in Kabul by the Taliban. In 1996, the Mujahideen leader Ahmad Shah Massoud and Abdul Rashid created the Northern Alliance, which fights against the Taliban. In the year 1998, Abdul Rashid lost his battle against the Taliban and left the war. Ahmad Shah Massoud was the only major anti-Taliban leader inside Afghanistan who was able to defend the Taliban. From September 1996 to November 2001, the Northern Alliance controlled roughly 30% of Afghanistan's population. But on September 9, Ahmad Shah Massoud was murdered. Two days after the death of Ahmad Shah Massoud, a Islamist terrorist group Al-Qaeda executed the attacks against the USA on the morning of Tuesday, that is on 11th September 2001. Four commercial airplanes were hijacked by 19 Al-Qaeda terrorists. These 19 terrorists were divided into four groups to hijack four planes, in which three groups with five hijackers and one group with four hijackers. First plane to hit its target was American Airlines Flight 11. It was flown into the North Tower of the World Trade Center complex at 8.46 am. 17 minutes later, at 9.3 am, the World Trade Center's South Tower was hit by the second plane, United Airlines Flight 175. Both 110-story towers collapsed within an hour and 42 minutes. The third flight, American Airlines Flight 77, at 9.37 am, was crashed into the west side of the Pentagon, causing a partial collapse of the building. 
Pentagon is the headquarters of the American military. The fourth flight, United Airlines Flight 93, was flown in the direction of Washington, D.C. It was the only plane not to hit its planned target, instead crashing in a field at 10.3 a.m. The plane's passengers attempted to get control of the aircraft from the hijackers and finally diverted the flight from its selected target. U.S. blamed Al-Qaeda for the 9 11 attacks and stated that Al-Qaeda supported the Taliban in controlling the country. U.S. made some demands on the Taliban that to deliver all the leaders of Al-Qaeda to the U.S. and to close immediately every terrorist training camp and to hand over every terrorist and their supporters to appropriate authorities and to give the U.S. full access to terrorist training camps for inspection. Initially, the Al-Qaeda leader Usama Bin Laden stated that he had no involvement in the attacks but in 2004, he formally claimed his responsibility for the attacks. The Taliban rejected the demands made by the United States. On 7th October 2001, United States with the help of UK and Canada initiated military action against the Taliban and Al-Qaeda related camps. Their main aim was to remove the Taliban from power and prevent the use of Afghanistan as a terrorist base of operations. United States joined with Afghanistan's Northern Alliance to overthrow the Taliban. By 13th November, the Taliban had withdrawn from both Kabul and Jalalabad and in December, they withdrawn from Kandahar city. Usama Bin Laden was killed in Pakistan's Abbottabad on May 2nd, 2011 by a US military special operations unit. The operation codenamed as Operation Neptune Spear and it was ordered by US President Barack Obama. In December 2001, new Afghanistan government was established and elected Ahmed Karzai as the head of the government. Again in 2004, presidential elections were conducted and Hamid Karzai was declared as the winner and became the president of Afghanistan. Also in 2009 presidential elections, Hamid Karzai was again elected as the president. But in September 2014, Ashraf Ghani was elected as new president. Since the war against the Taliban began in 2001, the United States lost more than 2,300 soldiers during the war. And the United States spent more than $2 trillion in Afghanistan. So now a peace agreement also called Doha Agreement, was signed by the United States and the Taliban on February 29, 2020 to bring the Afghanistan war to an end. The agreement provided for the withdrawal of all foreign forces from Afghanistan and in return, the Taliban were guaranteed to lose the connections with Al-Qaeda and other terrorist groups. The United States completed its full evacuation on August 30, 2021 as the Taliban took control of the country by force.